Uh, I'm assuming we'll see something on Dragon Quest XI. Maybe the world ends with you final remix. Maybe some Just Cause 4. Um, the journey is gameplay we will for take. that. And then the who demons, knows? Who knows what face. else? Hopefully, praying, hero, fingers crossed. We will become, final Fantasy VII remake. Got to see something on that today. To Hopefully, the Avengers game appears Welcome today as well. To the Square but we're going to shut up now. So. 2018. We're going to shut up now. Okay, this is direct style. This is direct style. It's fine with me. Yeah, I was going to try to get on earlier, but um, I was having some chest issues. And, uh, it, it honestly hurts to sit, but I got to do this. So. <laughs> there is a moment in everyone's life when we must make a choice. Let the world shape our destiny. I start at 11.30 a.m. tomorrow, and I'm done at 6. Who we're meant to be. Tomb Raider. Start now with Tomb Raider. Okay. That can be done earlier tomorrow if you need me to be done earlier for whatever reason. What are you doing? I'm gonna level it! No, no, no. Can't lay down and do the show. Can't lay down. Is the uh, trailer audio loud enough? Or the conference audio? Can you hear it okay? Or do I need to boost it? There are no parachutes! I know! This game looks so good. What's going on, little general? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Come on! Come on! Okay, I boosted Hi. a little bit more. Let My me know if that Daniel helps. I'll, I'll take it up a little bit higher. Even. At Eros Montreal. Same old You've thing. Just seen I hear that. Shadow, the Tomb Raider, which will deliver okay, that's Lara the beginning Cross of the game. Final. Okay. As she raised to stop a Maya apocalypse. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive. And even though that she's more confident and more capable, she will still be outgunned and outnumbered by Trinity. She will have to use everything she learned from the jungle and use it in order to survive. We call this becoming one with the jungle. Let's take a look what this means for gameplay. This is a Shadow of the Tomb Raider which is coming out on September 14th of this year. So all we're doing today is covering E3. All we're doing today is covering E3. We got five press conferences today. We did co we covered three yesterday, one on Saturday, and we got one more tomorrow. Video volume still low? Okay, I'll boost it again. Let me know if that's better. I'll just, I can just potentially turn it up all the way, or I can boost it in OBS as well. Tell me if that's better. Base camp's having trouble receiving you. As soon as this is up, we'll use it to boost your signal. What now? I got it. Okay. Same basic gameplay mechanics from the first two, which is to be expected. And they're not going to change things up too much here. Okay. How the hell do we patch these together? Love the setting of this one, though. Love the jungle setting for sure. <laughs> Eyes on yeah, it looks like Tomb Raider. Agreed. Okay, I like that there. Pretty much hiding in the actual. That's kind of neat. Can we get more light in here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me a bit. Gotta check in with Maltese. Sure. Gives me something to do. Hey, you know Maltese's access code? 010353 Mike. Hey, heading over there now. Need mm. some backup here. This place is empty. Mm-hmm. Body here. Looks recent. Guards up. Spotting the text they that uh, just sent me earlier. On. When the seal's going on. You take point. Lead the way. Maybe there. Enemy spotted. <laughs> 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 I'm in for this. I mean, obviously, I'm a, I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan, so I would have played this regardless just to actually, you know, get the story. But the gameplay looks really good. Him, but I think I may we have just talked to him like a few minutes ago. Just seen. So much depth to the combat that we cannot wait to show you more. There's new traversal techniques like grappling, wall running. We even have a full 360 degree on the water swimming, okay. which means full on the water exploration and survival. Okay. We have also one of the biggest hub we ever created in any Tomb Raider game. Wow. Featuring a hidden city. And of course, we have tombs. We have more of, course, of them, yeah. and they're deadlier than ever before. The tomb, the tomb gameplay is the best, man. For now, we're gonna leave you with a video puzzle that will give you stuff. a taste of what to expect out of Shadow the Tomb Raider, and how Lara Croft becomes the Tomb Raider that she's destined to be. Exactly, exactly. The, the mechanics I don't care too much about. Obviously, the uh, the story that's being told here and the puzzle solving within the tombs, like how do you get through these tombs? How do you get the all the treasures? That's what I care and about. fraught with danger. Okay. We stand together, for we are the warriors of light, ready for whatever new challenges and surprises await us. Oh, they're showing some stuff on Stormblood, okay. I got excited for both oh, yeah. a new Final Fantasy announcement. We're gonna see what's coming next for Stormblood. I really gotta try to get into this game, man. I do. I gotta try. I've never made it past level 10. Which is very unusual for me because MMOs, I mean, I don't find MMOs difficult. I just, with a foe for whom the, uh, the opening areas of this beings. game don't grip me. Which makes it hard for me to get through the opening areas. You will pay for what you have done! With blood! I should have known that Square Enix would do Nintendo Direct style. It makes sense for what they're trying to do right now. Obviously, they don't need to rent a big theater just for their stuff. I mean, you know, direct style makes total sense. Bethesda even did it last year, and it worked out really well for them. Granted, we know why they didn't do that this year, because they legit blew the roof off the place last night with uh, Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, Fallout 76, Doom 2. They literally had one thing from all their franchises except for The Evil Within. It was crazy. 
just A on it. Yeah, I feel that way as well. Okay, we're getting Monster Hunter World crossover with Final Fantasy XIV. That's interesting. That's interesting right there. I think that's the first crossover franchise with Final Fantasy XIV that is not a actual Square Enix IP. Summer 2018. Interesting. Oh, this is that um, thing we saw yesterday during Microsoft, right? The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Yeah. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. I'll stream this. It's like a quick one, one-off game, one episode, probably like not even five hours, probably not even longer than that. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Life is Strange, and this is, this is a game that if you pay attention, you're supposed to be able to Hi, find everyone. clues as Shankar. to what the story is, is going Robbie. to be in Life is Strange 2. You pre this? Of nice. I haven't done that yet. Entertainment. As you may know, we have just revealed the free. awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. <laughs> it's a brand new story just, like, in the Life is Strange universe. For it. And this full experience will be available to download for free on the 26th of June. To us, Life is yeah, Strange yeah, is that. not a single town or set of characters. Captain Spirit is our way for introducing the players to the many stories we want to tell in this expanded universe. Captain Spirit is not Life is Strange 2, but it will be your first steps into this world. The game is hiding many secrets and even some links to the brand new story and characters yeah. of season two. You gotta pay attention. So to make sure out. you take all your time to explore. We cannot wait for you to experience Chris's story. We hope you will enjoy it. Oh, you can't pre-order it. Have a okay. great history That's and funny. from all the Life is Strange team at Don't Nod, thank you. These guys thank are you. so good at crafting Bye. a story, man. They're so good. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I wonder if you can actually, can you design your own costumes? Or like, pick and choose what you want to wear? I wonder if it's customizable in that option. Or like it gives you a set, like how you could change Chloe's clothes or that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's cool that they're giving it away for free, obviously, to hype up um, Life is Strange 2. Oh yeah! Give me Dragon Quest XI. This will be my main game for until I finish it. Give me some DQ XI, baby. Best unveiled in our darkest hour. This is my probably my most anticipated game for 2018. Like you have no idea. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. September 4th? Dark I think this comes out 3rd or 4th. The corners of the earth. You've brushed with death a thousand times. Yet still, you have your life. It looks so good. I'm so happy they're returning to that style of Dragon Quest VIII, which is Dragon Quest VIII, my favorite RPG, JRPG this, of all time. You must survive. Bright luminary. Let the light shine on the world again. This music gives me chills legit every time it pops on. Fate hangs by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. All that matters is power. And the only power that matters is that of the darkness. It's time to claim your birthright. It looks so good, I know. It looks so light. good. Destiny beckons! Wield the light. Oh, don't worry. I will. your fate. Down. 
Do not lose heart. Do not look back. Until your time is through. September cannot get here quick enough. September cannot get here quick enough. Bold Luminary, we swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yep. We're all in this together. Show us what you've got. Let's do this. Lead on, darling. My god, that artwork. That's my new background right there. That's my new background for my PC. Holy shit, that cover art looks fantastic. Wow. To celebrate, oh, what are we, oh, what is this? You have my interest? Oh, Brave Exvius crossed with Dragon Quest. Eh, okay, he lost my interest. So much for so many streams. <laughs> this even try to read it. I don't think they want you to be able to read it your first time through. You're gonna have to pause to read it. On the day of judgment, something. Deep within. God dang, it's going so quick. Intrigued. I want to know. Led by the nomads. Babylon's fall. That's new. What is that? Developed by Platinum Games. My God. 2019. That's a day one purchase right there. That's a day one purchase. It's a day one purchase for me. Holy shit. Oh my god. Near. Masterpiece. Give me something new on near. A new to be. Give me to be. Don't just be the Xbox One announcement again. Oh, you son of a bitch. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machine. Owners, to if you've yet to play Near Automata, I implore you, buy this game on June 26th. You will thank me later and you will not be disappointed. I agree with you. I need Where to know more on Babylon's Fall as well. This is already great. This is this conference and is already great. You need I love it. Along the way. A new platinum game? The game? A new platinum games game? One to remember. <laughs> I'm in, dude. Oh my god. This is Octopath. Yes! Yes! yes. Cleric, Scar, Merchant. This game is warrior, so jolly, dude. Cancer, Look at this thing. Apothecary, and it's thief, perfect. Hunter, it's a perfect game. Step into Look at their this. Shoes and explore the realm of Orstera Look at this. As you see fit. My god. I played Whose the demo last year. Fell in love. Been counting down the days ever since. Octopath Traveler. Give it to me. Can't wait. Next month. One month away. I'm in. Just 
cause for it. Yeah, just cause for it. They are cruising through their stuff. Welcome to Dude, Just Babylon's Cause fall? 4 and the return of no Rico lie. Rodriguez. Just shot up to me at the top of my most wanted for next year. Everything and everyone he and I know nothing about that game, but Rico I am a huge fan of Platinum the Games. South they make fantastic stuff. Elites, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Every journey into Solis will uncover history, secrets, the Just Cause and games danger. are fun. I'll play this. Never before has a Just Cause game offered greater variety, rich oh, yeah, in all forms Yeah, it looks just like Just Cause, but they have good glance, gameplay. Solis is I've played a every location. Just Cause game to date, so surface, I may as well play this one, too. You will uncover oppression, fear, and I'm violence. sure it'll be good. All enforced by they Gabriella, are. the leader of the private militia organization, the Black Hand. Just Black Cause hand. 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the That's introduction cool. of extreme weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and level bridges to sticks. Wow, also if that's dynamic to where it changes and your gameplay is never the same, that's awesome. Lizards. That's really cool. Witness the spectacular destruction as they offer both the challenge to Rico as well as creating fun opportunities for creative sandbox gameplay. It's always Rico, man. It's always Rico. Our vehicles He's so destructive. Totally overhauled with new additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, <laughs> and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on bikes and cars, as well as exotic vehicles like jet skis and micro jets. Rico's grapple is now fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. Okay. The grapple now has more that... tethers than ever before. Wow. And okay. The ability to deploy booster rockets <laughs> and all new airlifters, making the grapple an incredibly yeah, powerful. Yeah, I won't play it constantly. Tool. I play it once for the campaign, that's it. That's how I play Meanwhile, these games. A new story glues together I don't 100% our free form, like that. go anywhere, do anything gameplay that Just Cause is so famous for. And the stakes for Rico He's upside down. Been That's funny. Combat in Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Each archetype comes with unique abilities with AI designed to keep the player on their toes. So Lise is a deeply advanced systemic world. Everything okay. you've seen from the incredible physicalized destruction to unparalleled draw distance is powered by the brand new best in class open world Apex engine. <laughs> Welcome to Just Cause 4. Bring the thunder. Each time the combat is better than ever. Of course it is. Say, this is real. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Go! Wrong address, dog! No one order no chow! He looks Where like he's from Final Fantasy 15, so I wonder if this is like a live action thing for this. Unless is this is this something I'm not getting that you know what this is? If you do, tell me. Wait. Silence rings loudest. The quiet man.
more to come in August. PS4, another PS4 exclusive. Well, PS4 PC. For every night, there is a dawn. What the hell is the quiet man? There is an Did not look like an RPG. And for every Kingdom door, Hearts, baby, yes. Give me something different from what we saw yesterday. Is wielded. Give me something different from what we saw yesterday. It's going to be the same thing, but that's okay. I'll, I'll watch it again. I'm excited for it. It's the same trailer. That's okay. Wow. Yeah, I need more on the quiet man, too. That could be something I just casually play once. Maybe not even buy it. I don't know. I don't know. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? No, never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Look out! Whoa. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it. Oh, yeah, no, little general. All I ever do it's on, man. It's on. It's hurt people. I was hoping to be a little bit different from what we saw yesterday during Microsoft showing, but I'm okay watching it again, to be honest. It looks so good. It looks so good. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. And this damn new Except theme the song from Utada Hakara, man. Find the hearts joined to you. Makes my heart leap with happiness. Dude, the gummy ships, I know. does exist. His heart's inside my heart. In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Oh, Aqua. Oh, Aqua. This keyblade. Is that... Mickey, you're too late. My God, I can't wait. January 29th, baby. January 29th. We finally have a date. We, well, we've had a date for like two days now, but still. Wait a second. This feels like an ending video. Wait a second. This feels like an ending video. And we saw nothing on Final Fantasy VII Remake, which means it's showing up at Sony show tonight. Thanks for joining the Square Enix E3 Showcase. 2018. That was way, 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 way shorter than I thought it would be. But that's okay. But that's okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm assuming that means, so what did it say? Because we can, I want to do something here. Thanks for joining the Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018. Because I, I doubt that 
the videos are up on their own YouTube channel yet. E3.squareenixgames.com Sony's tonight at 9. Sony is tonight at 9. So there's the potential that... Um, let's see here. There's the potential that Final Fantasy VII Remake shows up um, tonight. I need more on Babylon. Everyone's going to this website now. We'll just do it this way. Where was it? After Dragon Quest. Right here. Let me get the beginning of it. Yeah, I need more on Babylon. The Helos Empire. During Alb Albanland's era of expansion, its people discover an unknown energy known as the Oversoul. So CE5000, Discovery of the Oversoul. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> wow, that one went way too quick. Okay, missed it again. Unless you're not supposed to be able to see that one. Oh, no, you can. After years of experimentation, the Helos Empire something. Dang it. I wish that this could be downloaded so that I could just go frame by frame. I know that that last line is like makes it out to where there's legit just one frame. OK, that's too far ahead. There's one frame that you can actually see that last sentence. So I can make that out after years of experimentation, the Helos Empire succeeds in developing weapons that harnesses the Oversoul, that harness the Oversoul. Okay. After years of experimentation, the Helos Empire succeeds in developing weapons that harness the Oversoul, the Age of Dawn, CE 5017, CE 5041, the Oversoul Prophecies, a small group of seers hailing from all kingdoms use crystallized Oversoul fragments to predict the future and write down these prophecies in the Ephesian book. Okay. CE 5086, the Apocalypse. The seers have visions of an all-consuming darkness. CE 5095, Wayland's Journey. By order of the Helos Empire, Wayland... I'm assuming that says Wayland Journeys to the Darklands. My god. In the far north... Something... Something by the Ephesian book in the location of... Mi in the location of mankind's revival. Reveal. Revival or reveal. One of the two. That one's hard to make out. That one's super hard to make out unless it becomes clear. It does not. Okay, that one was fast. That one was fast. All right, we're back to this one. CE 5108, The Soul Riots. With resentment rising against the ruling class over its use of the Oversoul, riots break out among the masses. CE 5111, The World War. As the rulers of each kingdom turn against their respective populaces, the riots escalate into full blown war. CE 
CE 5177, Divine Punishment, disgusted by humanity's unwillingness to learn from its past mistakes, the Elder Gods unleashed their wrath upon mankind. Oh, that's 5200. It, was, it kept going. I just had to pause to read it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're back to the fast ones. How far back did I go? Not too far back. Maybe I did I not go back? I think I went. Hang on. We'll just start here again. Wait. I, I went back far enough, farther than I thought I did. Yeah, that's what I just did. Okay, right there. CE 5205, the birth of a goddess. This one's hard to read as well, and it goes really quick. With the purpose of rescuing humanity from the brink of extinction, a new goddess... I'm assuming that's the name of the goddess. A new goddess, Gaia? Is her name Gaia? Is reborn? Oh, you and your fast. They don't make it easy. Fifty two oh eight, birth of a new world. Gaia, yeah, so it was Gaia. Gaia creates a new world in order to give humanity one last chance. Fifty two twenty, age of harmony. Humans begin to inhabit the new world, and a period of peace follows. Fifty three thirty eight, scholars of Gaia. Concerned about people losing their faith in Gaia, the high priest Darius forms a consort known as the Scholars of Gaia. Fifty three fifty six War of Beliefs and fifty three forty six End of a Dream. Unable to overcome their ideological differences, the scholars of Gaia and the Helios Order start engaging in frequent skirmishes. Fifty three eighty five Spread of the Soul Plague. The unexplained outbreak of the Soul Plague prompts the different factions to capitalize on the people's fear and expand their efforts to convert the masses. 5430 or potentially higher because it is I think it is still going up New World Academy fearing for the future of mankind after rediscovering the Ephesian book the seer Maria forms the New World Academy and amid the rapidly worsening war Fifty-four, thirty-four. Punishment on the day of judgment. Gaia turns against mankind. Fifty-four, fifty. Deep within the shrine of souls, the nomads are born. So we must play as a nomad. Awakening. Fifty-four, whatever. Fifty-four, seventy-five. We must play as a nomad. Yeah, so that that right there is probably like a, somewhat of an idea of what our of what our characters our character is going to be. So it is around God and goddesses and humanity in this oversoul. Yes, so that's what I'm that's what I'm gathering so far. Trying to keep. Oh. 5500 rebirth led by the nomads humanity strikes back against Gaia so it's the nomad you play I'm assuming you play as a nomad helping humanity strike back against Gaia Avalon's fall developed by platinum games ps4 steam That must be an oversoul weapon we just saw. Yeah, I was just thinking, that's why I kept pausing to see, like, if we could see anything, and there's nothing that's going to tell us anything in that, so. That's why I kept pausing to see if we would actually see anything within the weapons or something. I like the logo. The logo is really cool.